Hello guys and welcome back to Farmer Joy. Hey, I just want to say thank you for clicking on these videos and watching them and subscribing. Sub subscribe if you're not. That'd be great. It's amazing what the little things do. So here I'm going to put the tracks on my Bobcat. Now these are Loggering brand uh, over the tire tracks. These, as you can see, they're worn out. They're shot. I've added a lot of steel to them. I've built them up over the years, but yet they still keep on working. So here, as you can see, I'm trying to put the tracks on. They are a bit heavy, a bit difficult. You got to watch your fingers. Make sure you don't pinch them. Now, when I purchased these loggering tracks, they came with this ratchet strap type deal. You're supposed to click it on the uh, one side of the track and then on the other and use a wrench to tighten them up. The thing, it works really, really well. But what I've noticed is that I have to uh, roll the skid steer back and forth in order for the tracks to keep getting tighter and tighter. And once you get it to a spot where they come together, you can grab a couple bolts and you stick them inside the plates. You get the air wrench and then you just air wrench them together. Just like this here. If you're dealing with any kind of mud, this is the way to go. One thing I'd like to say about those bolt-on tracks is that they do wear out the rubber tires a little bit faster than normal wear and tear. If you have any questions about these tracks, I'll try my best to answer them. But for now, that's the end of the video. I want to say thanks for watching and have a great day.